Hello Toad Sprites, it's Maddie Searle here, creator of the Prick Willow Papers. I have a very special episode for you today. It's the Prick Willow Papers' first ever live performance, part of the showcase session at the London Podcast Festival Presents Audio Drama. It was recorded at King's Place on the 30th of November 2019. This episode takes place before the final scene of episode 10, the next chapter, and contains clues about what may be to come for Silda and Squirm in the future. But before we begin, I just want to give a shout out to the other amazing shows who took part in the showcase alongside the Prick Willow Papers. The event was hosted by the wonderful David Devereaux and David Pello of Tin Can Audio, who also happened to play Halen and the Ghost in the Prick Willow Papers. The other brilliant shows performing in the showcase were The Pilgrimage Saga, Miha, and The Orphans, all of which I can highly recommend. And I will put links in the show notes so you can enjoy them too. Now, without further ado, may I present our special episode for today, Emotional Homework. First of Bud's Bloom in the year of Our Lady, 1538. Uh, I finally got a spare moment to write a diary entry. It's been so hectic recently. What with my big assessment coming up, I can't believe I'm so close to having an enchanter's license. It's kind of terrifying, actually. Enchanter Gundred isn't the most nurturing mentor, and they've made it very clear that the test will be tougher than a scorpion's carapace. And they've emphasized many, many times that if I fail, I won't be able to reset, appeal, or do anything to change the result. Bribes are certainly out of the question. Gundred is very frugal. It's my one shot to finish my apprenticeship and become a fully-fledged magic practitioner. And if I mess it up, well, I'm fucked. (laughs) And even though Squirm has been trying her best to be supportive, she hasn't really got the whole empathy thing down yet. After all, she's one of the fey folk from the Gloamlight realm. They don't really have tests or licenses or the Bureau of Magical Affairs poking its nose into everyone's business. And she doesn't understand why it's so important for me to pass. It would just be so embarrassing if I got this far after years of training and fell at the final hurdle. And, oh shit, what if Gundred found out about all the restricted spells I've cast? I was only trying to help Squirm get her powers back. I wasn't doing anything nefarious. But Gundred wouldn't see it that way. They were very hesitant about letting Squirm stay here in my room in the first place. I can't imagine how they'd react to illegal spellcasting. I'm a bit worried about Squirm as well. We have the ritual she needs to get her powers back once and for all, but she still hasn't decided if she wants to go ahead with it. She has been cutting back on insults, though. In the past six months, she hasn't said, Zildi, you're an imbecile at all. (laughs) Well, except last week when I spilt nettle tea all over my practice test papers. But still, big improvement. I need to have a think about how to broach the subject with Squirm. And wait a sec. Oh, no, 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 bloody hell. Is that the time I need to get back to revising for the assessment? Catch you later, diary. (laughs) Don't miss me too much. Twenty seconds of whatever the fuck in the year of our lady who gives a shit. (laughs) This has to be one of Silda's most idiotic ideas yet. She thinks that keeping a diary will help me process my feelings, encourage mindfulness and all that crap. She's staring at me right now, making sure I'm doing my emotional homework. She's timing me for fuck's sake. She won't leave me alone until the hourglass is out. This is torture. She's coercing me. (sighs) She wants me to make a decision about the ritual. We managed to get a scroll, which tells us how to get my powers back, but I'm not sure if we should use it. If I should use it, 
I mean, first of all, I haven't used any magic in over a year. And you know what they say, use it or lose it. God knows how many spells I've forgotten in that time. Uh, or worse, how many spells I've half remembered that could backfire horribly and make my wings catch on fire. And, and, and second, the ritual can only be used once every century. So if we mess it up this time, if we're not prepared enough, then I won't ever get my powers back. I'm not one of those fancy pants high elves who lives for hundreds of years and wears ridiculous robes as a substitute for a personality. <laughs> <sighs> Who am I kidding? That's what, not what I'm worried about. I'm worried I don't deserve to have my powers back. I did some horrible, horrible things back in the Gloomlight Realm. They were right to take my powers away. I, I killed someone. I let my temper get the better of me at the tournament, and I killed him. Brom. His name was Brom. I told Silda months ago that I couldn't remember what he said to make me angry. That was a downright lie. I remember exactly what he said. Those things about my family. I can't repeat them. It wouldn't do any good to dwell on it. And all those guards, I killed them too. I told myself I was just defending my honour, that it wasn't my fault, that Brom provoke me. I told myself so often I started to believe it. Now I just realise I was too scared to admit that I'd fucked up. The biggest fuck up of all time, witnessed by a stadium full of fey folk. Most people just forget their spouse's birthday or miss a mortgage payment, but I, I kill a whole platoon of guards who are just doing their jobs, arresting me for killing Brom. Everyone else needs to step up their game to catch up with me. Is my time up yet? Can I stop writing now? <sighs> Silda's tapping the hourglass and giving me the most school marmish look I've ever seen. She's enjoying this far too much. Oh, I can't go on like this. Just living through it over and over and over. I need to do something, anything. I need to go back there, to the Gloomlight Realm, to make amends, to say, I'm sorry. Although I have been exiled, so there's a good chance they'll reconsider the whole death sentence thing and take me back to the chopping block. But I can't just stay here and mope for the rest of my life. And Silda, she went through so much to get that ritual from me. And I was such a dick to her. I owe it to her to actually go through with it. I can't get to the Gloomlight Realm without my magic. Silda's getting pretty powerful now, but she's not one of the fey folk. Only I can get myself there. Get us there. If she'd come with me. Oh my god. She's gonna be so smug when she finds out this diary thing actually worked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn it! The whole thing's off. I'm staying right here. No amends. No nothing. I can't let her know. Her stupid idea actually worked. <laughs> Uh, the hourglass has run out now. She'll want a full debrief. Fine, I'll tell her. I'll tell her I want to go back. Just hope she doesn't gloat too much. This is Squirm, signing off. <laughs> 23rd of Bud's Bloom in the year of Our Lady, 1538. So, today's the day. I have the envelope in front of me right now. My results, I'm gonna find out if I've got my magic practitioner's license. Oh God, my stomach is doing the can-can right now. I, I, I can't open this. I, I know, I'll tell you about Squirm. Yes, that's what I'll do. She's finally made a decision. She wants to do the ritual, yay. I'm so pleased for her. I'm kind of surprised I feel that way, to be honest, since she's been criticizing me from the moment we met, but I, I do, I'm, I'm really glad she's ready. And I'm glad she wants to go back home to try and make up for what she did. Her actions had consequences, and it's about time she faced up to them. She's even, even asked me to go with her. Of course, she pretended she was doing me a favor, but I know she was glad I said yes. <sighs> Listen to me. Here I am going on about facing up to consequences, and I can't even open my own test results. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> oh my god 
I actually did it. I actually got my license. I got my, I can finish my apprenticeship. I can become a really judge. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I need to go and tell Squirm. I need to tell Enchanted Gundred. No, wait. I know what I need to do. I need to take Squirm to Enlacer Mountain right now and complete the ritual. What better way could there be to celebrate? I'd better run and go and see if she was ready. <gasps> Goodbye, diary. Keep this ledger safe for me. I'll frame it when I get back. Goodbye. <laughs> You have been listening to the Prick Willow Papers. This special episode, Emotional Homework, was written and performed by Maddie Searle. This show is a Snazzy Tapir production. You can find out more about the Prick Willow Papers at snazzytapir.wordpress.com. Thank you for listening. Woo!